Hello friends, in this video we make cyclopentanone by the dry distillation of adipic acid. Cyclopentanone is a cyclical ketone, it is a colorless volatile liquid. It is a common precursor to fragrances like jasmine fragrance which contain 2 pentyl or 2 heptyl cyclopentanone. Materials required for this preparation includes 20 grams of adipic acid and 2 grams of barium hydroxide. Start by mixing around both 20 grams of adipic acid and 2 grams of barium hydroxide. They should mix well and should be pulverized to a fine powder. There should not be any clumps or big grains. Grinding them intimately ensures increased surface area between the two reactants, thereby increasing the yield. Now we charge the round bottom flask with this compound and set it up for distillation. A dry distillation without the oil bath is the best here. By mistake I started off with an oil bath. I have to reach temperatures of 290 to 295 degrees Celsius and with the oil bath it is technically very difficult and I had to change the oil bath later. So it is better to just heat it up straight. So initially when the temperature strikes to around 100 degrees Celsius you can see water starts to boil and leave the reaction flask. The temperature should be strictly at 290 to 295 degrees Celsius and not more than that as if the temperature goes more than 300 degrees Celsius the reactant adipic acid starts to distill over and clogs your condenser. When the temperature reaches 295 degrees Celsius you see the vapors of cyclopentanone traveling down from the distilling head into the condenser and condensing down as liquid. By the time it distills over, let us look at the reaction. This is the overall reaction that is occurring. Now the mechanism proposed involves initial formation of a monocarboxylate ion by nucleophilic reaction with a hydroxide ion followed by decarboxylation at elevated temperatures to yield a carbanion which is preferentially cyclized to form an enolate ion. The elimination of hydroxyl ion and its combination with the abstracted proton results in the formation of a water molecule in the product. Once the distillation is complete, the distilling flask is turned to a black viscous mass which is actually very easy to clean with the piranha solution. And in the receiving flask, we have the cyclopentanone with some water. It was then poured into a separatory funnel. Cyclopentanone is not soluble in water and the density is less than water so it forms the top layer. Keep the funnel for few minutes so that the layers will get separated. The bottom layer containing water and water soluble impurities can be discarded. Here you can see the two layers distinctly and the lower layer was discarded. The top layer was then dispensed into a clean round bottom flask. It was then dried by adding anhydrous potassium carbonate. This treatment simultaneously also removes the traces of adipic acid if any present in the solution. The flask was set up for a second distillation and temperature was raised to 131 degrees Celsius and you can see the vapors of cyclopentanone condensing in the beginning of the condenser. And Everything that distilled over between 129 degrees Celsius to 131 degrees Celsius was collected. This is what we obtained. The distillate that we obtained has a yellow color to it that is it has some impurities and we should do a second distillation but due to my sheer laziness I stopped it here. I got a yield of 7 grams. So that's all in this video. Hope you all liked this video. These are the Patreon supporters who are supporting me financially and I am able to do more videos because of their help.
You can also support me financially via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are given in the description. Once again, thank you. Do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell button for notifications. And see you in the next video.